I think it's rather fair to say that a lot of people are making too much of a big deal of UFC 300. And with good reason. Some good reasons is because it's an epic event that is correlated with UFC 100, UFC 200, and all the other hundreds that fall into this particular number. But in reality, who really cares? Now, today, I was watching the Luke Thomas live uh, chat. And he had a poll up that said, which fight or which card is better? UFC 299 or UFC 300? Almost unanimously, I would say about 80% of the people in that poll voted for UFC 299. And the rest of them voted for UFC 300. Which you could guess and imagine that if you're a Luke Thomas fan, you have some sort of understanding to MMA. You're probably a hardcore fan. So it's safe to say that those 20% of people are probably casuals for the most part. Now, obviously, we don't have an actual data to prove that. But all signs point to that reality. Here's another thing, too. I think this whole idea of UFC 300 being a big deal is nothing short of pagan worshipping. And let me give you an example why. As you know, as Muslims, we don't celebrate Christmas. We don't celebrate all these different conventional holidays that are in the Hallmark calendar. We don't definitely celebrate Valentine's Day. We certainly don't celebrate... Well, New Year's, no, not even New Year's. And guess what? That's a great example to this. What is New Year's? It is part of a calendar that puts us back into one, into the next year after 12 months. So you got 12 months and then the first month of the entire year is January. And on January the 1st, which is going to be midnight, it has to be this big celebration because of a number. To me, it almost feels like, and again, this has an Islamic component to it, sort of a pagan worshipping. And in reality, you got to understand, pagan worshipping, in, I got to be very careful how I say this. Let me just say it like this, right? Whether it's 300 or whether it's 299 or whether it's 301 or 302, wherever Conor McGregor is going to fight at, I mean, look, honestly, it's not going to make UFC 300 any more or any less uh, favorable to the eyes of the fans. Simply because they're loading up their cards all throughout the year because they have to make a quarterly quota. You understand? If you've ever been in a corporation, you ever ran a business, or you worked in spreadsheets, you understand exactly what I'm talking about. They have to spread out their money all throughout the year. And even though UFC 300 is a big card in terms of its prestige based on a number, this is the 300th pay-per-view that the UFC has done, okay. But the bottom line is... It almost doesn't mean anything, especially when you have these other great matchups all throughout the entire month and all throughout the entire year following that and before that. So in other words, UFC 300 is not the biggest deal in the world. But if you think so, well, you got another thing coming. I got to be honest with you. I honestly don't think UFC 300 is going to break 300 K buys. That's it. That's all there is to it. They announced Weili Zhang and Zonan fighting for the women's uh, 115 championship. Now, as a hardcore fan, that's quite exciting. If you are a Chinese MMA fan, that's even more exciting because then you have two people that are representing your country fighting it out for the title in one of the biggest uh, calendar years, well, the biggest uh, event of the UFC in a long time, at least the way that they present it to be. So maybe that's really what this all is about. Look, to be honest with you, Weili Zhang is a great fighter. 
Zhou Nan, her opponent, is a great fighter as well. They're both great representations of Chinese uh, martial arts, if not Chinese mixed martial arts altogether. But they just don't really blow the hair back of, let's say, the casual fan base. It's not Conor McGregor. It's not Israel Adesanya. It's not John Jones. It's not Francis Ngannou. It's not Dustin Poirier. It's not all these other big names that you would expect to really headline a card the way that a card deserves to be headlined. Either way, I just don't think that UFC 300 is that much of a big deal. You see, they try to make it so much of a big deal that it's falling right on their butts. Okay? But that's all that I could really say about UFC 300. There's not much to it. There's nothing else to really say other than the fact that it's not going to do more than 300 buys for UFC 300. So let me just say that before I sign off and for you guys to like and subscribe after I sign off, I just want to say this. UFC 300 will not break 300K. Mark my words.